So first and foremost, um, my condolences, my thoughts, prayers are with Demaria Hollingworth's family. Um, if you're not familiar with the story, <clears throat> Demaria was an eight-year-old who was unalived by her 12, 13-year-old uh, cousin, smothered to death in her sleep over um, an iPhone. So my question to you all is this, <clears throat> what's the protocol for dealing with children who exhibit these kind of behaviors? What's the procedure? What's the protocol that your family has in place? Because these behaviors don't just pop up one day out of the blue, right? So besides sweeping it on the rug, beating the shit uh, out of the child, praying it away. What preventative measures do you all have set in place? I mean, our generation, you know, when we look at the state of intimacy, we can pretty much tell that we was brought up on like Young and the Restless and, and Booty Talk and, and Sugar Walls and all shit like that. So we, we understand what that looks like on that level. And now, mind you, we have to sneak and watch VHS tapes and and, and uh, wait till 2 o'clock in the morning to watch, you know, certain types of videos uh, on clip. But now, at the swipe of screen... Our children are exposed to everything, all everything we experienced in our childhood in a swipe. Like they could just swipe and and be exposed to it. And I just want to know what's the procedure and protocols that 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 that, that you guys uh, have set in place, or um. Y'all still talking about going 50 50? Hmm? Or y'all still on that shit?